Let's talk about the counterpart to the knit stitch, the purl stitch, and different options for holding your working yarn. When working the knit stitch, as we've done here, you can see we've created Vs. Each one of these Vs is a stitch. This is called the right side of the work. When we purl back on the other side of this, we'll be working the wrong side. Where we've purled, we have bumps. All of those are purl bumps. And with purling, the working yarn is in the front of the work. When we were knitting, we held it in the back. Purling, we have it in the front. So we have our needle, pinching our yarn, and instead of going in from front to back, we're actually going back to front on this stitch. Knit stitch, we went here. Purl stitch, we're going here. But we're still doing the same wrapping motion. Scoop and pull. So you're going in from the front. It can be helpful to hold the needles together with your left hand. Working yarn wraps around the needle and then you just scoop it through. Through, wrap, pull it through, and then it drops off the left needle. In, wrap, scoop, and drop. Slide your stitches up all the way to the end. and we've created another row. So now, instead of holding the yarn in our right hand, we're going to hold it in our left hand. We're still purling, so the yarn is still in front, and you may find that the wrapping motion is very helpful, but really you have to practice to see which way works for you. This is how I purl, and you can see the yarn is held in my hand wrapped through my fingers. Some people like to pinch the working yarn, but whatever works best for you. The needle comes to the front, yarn goes around and comes through. You can tension the yarn however feels comfortable for you. I do a hand wrap except I use my thumb. And instead of using my whole hand, I just use my thumb to pull the yarn around the needle. The needle comes through, yarn goes around, the thumb motion locks it into place and you scoop it right here.
you've created another row of pearl bumps.